Ghana, which first diagnosed AIDS in 1986, has since experienced a widespread HIV epidemic, with a current prevalence of 1.7% of the total population of over 30 million. Proud to this, persons living with HIV's medical care primarily focused on managing opportunistic infections and providing psychological support. The number of persons living with HIV AIDS on treatment has increased from 100 in 2003 to 254,753 currently. At the time, Madame Elsie Ayer was one of the individuals enrolled. I am privileged to be celebrating my 20th year of antiretroviral treatment. This year also, I'll be 70 years old. And it is all due to being on antiretroviral treatments for the past 20 years. Many lives have been lost, but many lessons have been learned. And the greatest one is the efficacy of consistently taking uh, antiretroviral medication. But one thing that is still a, an issue is our self-confidence which goes way down when we test positive. We start wondering, who gave me the HIV? Where did I get it from? That is immaterial. She encourages individuals who are aware of their status and have refused enrollment to do so for their own benefit. It is possible to deal with HIV. We don't want to progress to AIDS. So I am appealing, please accept all persons living with HIV. Support us to continue keeping on treatments. Your support is paramount. It is a source of strength. It is our backbone. Efforts are underway to produce ART in the country to address shortages and recognize its crucial role in the lives of persons living with HIV. We all acknowledge the challenges that exist. And one of the key things we want to do moving forward is looking at how best we can produce the ARVs in country because of the numerous challenges we face in logistics management of ARVs and its shortages in the country. The Director General of the Ghana Health Service, Dr. Patrick Kuma Abwaji, emphasized the significance of preventive measures for an AIDS-free generation. We must emphasize the importance of comprehensive prevention strategies, including education, condom distribution and use, the promotion of voluntary counseling and testing, and services, and by combining preventive efforts with the widespread use of the ARVs, we can work towards the AIDS-free generation. A number of events, including a legacy project, have been lined up in the year.